Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are finding a specific node within a linked list in Java. Okay, so to do this, we have created an int integer list class in Java. So this is what I've created. And if you don't understand how I created this methods and this class, then do watch uh, my other videos. I have a whole playlist on linked list. So watch it from the beginning and you will understand this. So I have I have gone through all this code in my previous videos in the link list, in that playlist. So uh, I'll provide the link in the description below, so make sure to watch that out. Okay, so here I have, so I'll really briefly explain what is it. So I have an integer class, and then in the integer class, I have node, uh, an, in, an inner class of node, and a node contains two data, right? Uh, and I mean two important parts. So a node contains a data and a reference to the next field. If you don't understand what is a node, then do watch my first video on what is a linked list. I will provide the link in the description below. Okay. All right. So I have a default constructor however here, which is going to just set the data to zero and the next field to null. Then I have a parameterized constructor here, and this is the end of the inner class. Then I have a head field of node of course and then a default constructor which is simply setting the head field to null and i have an add to start method and i have a video on this one as well and then i have an add to end method and i have created a video on this one as well so now we are in this video we are doing the find method okay and all these methods video you can find in the playlist or in the description below all right so to find a node within a link list first we have we have to create a method so let's say if, uh, public node find and since we need to pass in a data so we're going to pass in a data and we and we will want it to return a specific node okay so that's why it's of type node because we are returning a specific node okay so then we have to return the node and to write the code of how do we do this so let me first explain you uh visually so it's gonna be better for you to understand how to code it okay so here we have a link list an integer link list because we're dealing with integer link list here and uh, so okay so here, as you guys already know, the head field always point to the first node and uh, there's a connection between each of them because the next field contains a reference to the next uh, next node. So this is how they're connected and the next field of the last one always points to null. Okay, so here this is, a, there, this is the link list and we are finding a specific node. Okay, so we had in our formula, we had like public node find and we had int data okay so in this data so this is like the these data okay the the node uh, uh because a node contains a data and a reference to the next field so this is like a data and then the re reference to the next field okay so here in this data we are passing in a node that we want to find so for example if we want to find this node so we're going to pass in three okay and then we will have to find this list uh, this node within the list okay so to do that uh, if you want to get to this list so for uh, our first step will be to create a temporary node okay so we're creating a temporary node and then first we have to point the node to the head uh, because we have to traverse the list to the uh, end of the list i mean traverse the node until the end of the list okay so we are going to start traversing it from the head so first we are going to point it to the head so head is pointing to the first element so first we are going to point to this one and then we are going to move it to this one so we are going to use a while loop to move to the next one and then to the next one the next one so on until we reach the end of the list okay so we are going to traverse the list from start to end, so the whole list, we're going to traverse the whole list, and we're going to put an if statement, if we find the data equals to three, then we're going to return this node. If we do not find the one that we're looking for, then we're simply going to return null. Okay, so I hope that was clear. So let's go back. Okay, so here uh, we're going to do what I just explained. So first of all, 
we are going to create an, a temporary variable, right? So temporary and it is of type node because it's a node and then we're going to point it to the head. So first step is to point the temporary node to the head. And what's the next step is to traverse the list. And we're going to use a while loop to do that. While loop until we get to the end of the list. Okay, so until temp is not equals to null. Okay. Because um, uh, this means an, uh, not equals to null. So uh, the, the loop is going to continue if we have a node afterwards. Like uh, if, if the node after it, I mean, the next node is not null, right? So it's going to continue. But as soon as it reaches null, the loop is going to stop. Okay, and within the uh, loop, what we have to do, we have to put an if statement, right? So let's put an if statement. So if we find a temporary node theta, so we are looking for the data. If we find the temporary node theta equal equal to the data that, that gets passed in, okay, then what are we going to do? Then we are going to simply return the node, the node, I, I mean return that node, okay? So I hope that was clear. If it's not, let me explain again. So first step is we are going to point the temporary node to the head. So we are starting from the head and then we're going to traverse the list until the end of the list, okay? And within the list, so we're going to check if the data at that node, at that specific node, we're going to check if the data matches with the data that we're looking for. If it matches, then we're going to return that specific node because in this example, we are returning a node, okay? So we're going to return it. But if this if statement is false, then it won't get executed. So then we have to continue our loop, right? So we're going to write temp equals temp dot next because we wanted to uh, to move it to the next node uh, this is going to do temp dot next temp dot next means uh the next field okay and the next field has a reference to the uh, next node so that means your next node is going to point uh to the temporary node now so the temporary node uh, is moving now because uh, like i said before if you go back to the notes so here we were first pointing the temporary node we were first pointing the temporary node to the head and then if we find the, the the data that we were looking for then we're going to return this node if not then we're going to uh traverse the the temp no, uh, temporary node here and then it's going to move on here so because it's temp.next and temp.next so the, this is temp.next and temp.next is pointing to the, this next field right so then the, our temp is equals to temp is this variable right temporary node so temp is equals to this one so it's going to point to this one and so on temp.next which is this one so so our temporary variable is equals to this one now and so on it's going to continue Okay, so I hope that was clear now. So then if we do not find a value uh, after looping through the whole list, that uh, if we do not find a node that we were looking for, then we are simply going to return null. Okay, so uh, it, we are not done yet because we have to deal uh, with a situation where what if the head field is null? Okay, what if there's no link list okay so if the link list is empty so we have to what are we going to return so for this we have to check in the uh, with the if statement if the head equals equals null because if the head points to null so that means our list is empty right because the head is pointing to the first node so if the if there's no first node that means the list is empty so if that's the case so we're going to return null Okay, let's, so this completes our add to, I mean the find node method. So I hope you find this video helpful. If there's any question, let me know in the comments below and please subscribe.